Did MC Lee Sang Min sexually harass G Idol member Su Ha on the Knowing Bros show? Are Sakura and Tae Tae dating? Is Haebun neglecting BTS? Get answers to all these questions and more in this episode of K-Pop Collective. Subscribe to K-Pop Collective for all the latest K-Pop news, and don't forget to like and comment on our videos. Was G Idol Su Ha harassed? JTBC show Knowing Brothers MC Lee Sang Min is being attacked right, left, and center by netizens for his rude comments towards G Idol member Su Ha. On October 29th, G Idol members took part in JTBC's variety show Knowing Bros to promote their latest album I Love. The album also features the title track NXDE. The team first performed their hit songs, including My Bag and Tomboy. But the track that caused controversy was NXDE. After performing, G Idol members introduced themselves and started sharing their real life experiences. That is when the MCs asked the guest members about how the concept of title track NXDE came about. The leader of the group, Soyeon, replied that they took inspiration from two classic movies, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and Moulin Rouge. She also said that the group was inspired by Marilyn Monroe. Trying to speak about Monroe's attitude, Toya mentioned Monroe's interview. What do you wear to bed? You wear a pajama top. The bottoms of the pajamas are a nightgown. Or... So I said Chanel Number no. Five. Chanel Number no. Five was the first perfume launched by French couture Gabrielle Coco Chanel in 1921. Though this was in context of the track NXDE, MCs turned the course of the talk and Yi Su Gun commented, Sleep really feels the best when you sleep nude. I also don't wear clothes to sleep. This was followed by MC Yi Sang Min's comment that he too doesn't wear pants while sleeping. The discussion did not end here. Instead, Yi Sang Min asked G Idol if they slept nude as well. Though this made the members uncomfortable, which was clearly visible from their expressions, Yi Sang Min continued to look at Xu Ha and told her, Looking at her expression, it looks like she really sleeps nude. The group's leader, Soyeon, came to a shocked Xu Ha's rescue and gave a befitting answer to Yi Sang Min. She retaliated by saying, What are you thinking? We make sure to wrap ourselves up when we sleep. You sleep nude as much as you want. But why was Yi Sang Min picking on Xu Ha? Was it because Xu Ha is known to speak her mind when it comes to issues like sexual harassment? It can be remembered that Xu Ha had rightly expressed her anger towards men involved in the gang assaults in China in June this year. Following the release of the episode, Yi Sang Min is being roasted by netizens for directing such rude comments towards G Idol members, especially targeting Xu Ha. Many commented saying that Yi Sang Min was harassing the girls. There is clearly a difference between being funny and being insensitive. What do you think about Yi Sang Min's comment towards Xu Ha? Let us know in the comments below. Sakura and Bam Bam dating? Is the Serapi member Sakura dating GOT7 member Bam Bam? Here is what we know so far. Videos of Sakura and Bam Bam selling Pungopang in Gangnam went viral on November 7th. Spotting the two idols together, fans started speculating about their relationship status. But here is what actually happened. Yes, Sakura and Bam Bam were selling Pungopang, which is a fish-shaped bread often filled with sweet red bean paste, in a food truck at Gangnam Station. They were not together because they were dating, but the duo was filming the first episode of Sakura's upcoming web variety show, Do Not Be Afraid, which in literal title is known as Sakura is not scared of anything. And GOT7's Bam Bam happened to be the first guest on her show, which is all set to premiere on November 24th. The rumors started making rounds as Sakura and Bam Bam were seen treating each other well, talking and cracking jokes with fans and people who came to buy bread from them. One of the Russian fans even posted their conversation on who speaks Korean better. It was really funny how Thai idol Bam Bam and Japanese idol Sakura were complimenting the Russian fan on speaking Korean better than them. Spotting idols together doesn't always mean they are dating. Haiba Announcements In its 2022 Haiba briefing with the community, Haiba announced its plans for next year. Wondering what is in store for BTS? Founder Pang Si Hyok said, BTS was our starting and driving force and ARMY made all of this possible. Apart from RM's solo album releasing in December this year, BTS members will concentrate on a variety of solo activities. For example, Jin filming commercials for a ramen brand called Jin Ramyeon, and RM hosting a new Korean variety show launching in December. Some of Haiba's other announcements include RM's solo album release. Big Hit Music shared the details of RM's new album, Indigo, which is set to release on December 2nd. The agency also provided a glimpse of RM's album and said that Indigo recounts the stories and experiences RM has gone through, like a diary. The album will present a different charm of RM with various featured artists. 
and a team's debut. Extending its global stage concept, Hayabu will debut its first-ever Japanese-based boy band and team. The nine-member multinational team will soon make their debut. New Jeans Single The latest hot favorite rookie group New Jeans will drop a pre-release buzz single on December 19th. With the girl band topping charts with their single Attention and their hype boy dance going viral, expectations for their new single are really high. Hwang Minhyung's solo album After New West announced its disbandment, members Pei Cole and Hwang Minhyung stayed under the company to pursue solo careers. While Pei Cole released his debut single album in October, Minhyung is currently working on his first full fledged album. Though the dates were not released, Haiba announced that the album will come out soon. New Jeans OMG Extended Play New Jeans will gift their fans with the release of their OMG project in the beginning of the new year. OMG has been labeled as a single album and is likely to have three new songs. Tomorrow by Together's Extended Play Tomorrow by Together, popularly known as TXT, will welcome the new year with the group's fifth mini-album. Haiba's briefing said that TXT will once again excite the fans with alluring lyrics and a tantalizing melody. Seventeen's album release Seventeen is Haiba's top-selling act after BTS. The 13-member boy band will drop a new album in the first half of 2023. Their track Face the Sun has surpassed more than 2 million in global album sales in its first week. n Hypen's comeback n Hypen members who are busy with their Manifesto World Tour will be back with new music in 2023. n Hypen will complete their world tour in February 2023 and is likely to bring out new music in the first half of 2023. Promise 9's album release The girl group Promise 9 is all set to release a new album in the first half of 2023. For the first time, the girl band will be seen as an 8-member group after Tang Kyuri left the group in July. Le Serapim's Asia and North America Tour One of Haibu's popular girl groups, Le Serapim, will get ready for a tour in Asia and North America. B-Lift Lab's second artist debut B-Lift Lab, which currently manages n Hypen, will soon have a second artist debut under its label. The new group will debut in the first half of 2023. Netizens expressed excitement over Seventeen and Hypen and TXT's comeback and Le Serapim's tour, but some expressed concern about BTS's schedule. Netizens commented that it looks like Hypen is concentrating more on its other artists and that Hypen might be decreasing their dependency on BTS. What do you think? Can Hypen afford to keep BTS away from the limelight? Poa's comeback Singer Poa is back in the limelight as she confirms her comeback with her third mini-album, Forgive Me. Previously, the singer had released her 20th debut anniversary album, Better, in 2020. Forgive Me will consist of six tracks and is expected to show off Poa's various charms. The teaser image, which was shared online, surely won the attention of the global audience. The album is set to release both online and offline on November 22nd.